Hey everyone, this is Devil Kicks Anji with part three of my third update video on my anime DVD Blu-ray collection. And uh, stupid me, I had forgotten about that second drawer. I'd forgotten about the um, rest of seasons four of One Piece. So um, yeah, I will remedy that. And oh yeah, also uh, forgot about that one. Hi, Benny Renme. <laughs> So without further ado, let's finish this off so that we don't have to have another video. Okay, we got High Bunny Renme, which I got from Best Buy, around uh, 25 bucks. Not too bad, but to be honest, I still haven't um, watched it yet. I kind of forgot about it. So, whoopsie! Next is Season 4, Voyage 2 of One Piece, which is a lot of filler. This is the Ocean Dream arc. And, uh, yeah, it was okay. I i don't hate on it as much, but a lot of people fucking hate that arc. Next we have Season 4, Voyage 3, and as you can see displayed, Usopp vs. Luffy, which was, for me, one of the most emotional fights of the show. I remember seeing that shit, like, way back when, like, YouTube was, like, barely starting out. Shit made me cry. <laughs> Next we have... Season 4, Voyage 4, we got Robin, ready to pop a cap in your ass, and we got CP9 in the background. This is a, just a lot of the, um, I want to say, yeah, it's a lot of the stuff where they reveal CP9 and they go on the train. I think this leads off with them just about to go on the Puffing Tom. And yeah, we have Season 4, Voyage 5, which I actually got at Walmart for like 20 bucks. So, like, you know, fuck you, Walmart, for only getting this and nothing else. But yeah, this pretty much is the entire, what I like to call the Sea Train arc. A lot of Sanji badassness in this one. <laughs> ah, okay. Next, we got My Hime, which, to be honest, I just got this, like, yesterday at a pawn shop for $4.99. All these discs are in great condition. So... Yeah, I'm, the only thing I'm sad about is that they didn't have my Otome and the Otome Zue and the other prequel OVA thingy. But yeah, that's a standalone, so I'm I'm not gonna fret on that. Next we have a uh, Papua, which is a series that one of my friends got like half of. He liked it. He said it's really funny and random, and I found this the same place I found uh, my Hime for just six bucks. So I'm like, fuck, I'll, I'll, I'll buy this. <laughs> Why not? Six discs. Only shitty thing is a stack pack. I don't want to open it right now, but yeah, it's a six disc stack pack. Fuck you, stack packs. Well, look at me. I'm stacking, though, aren't I? Hypocrite! <laughs> okay, we got a uh, Ruby Volume 1 here on Blu ray. Um, Walmart, 10 bucks, and I really enjoyed this. I had not seen Ruby, I'd only seen uh, Gigux Impressions, but that was enough for me to want to check it out, and I freaking loved it. Showed it to one to my friend, the one who has Papua, and he loved it too, so now I got him addicted to it. I'm waiting for Blu-ray releases, I'm trying to stay away from the online versions. I do not want any reason to not buy Okay, next we got Star Driver, a discontinued Bandai series. Picked it up pretty much because it was discontinued, and the visuals look fucking amazing. I mean, if you haven't seen um, Yorazuya Group's The Prophecy of Bridge, which they pretty much just like do immense style of the first episode of this, check that shit out. It is fucking hilarious. Next we got part two. I think I got both parts. eBay uh, 45, I want to say, for both both of them but I enjoyed the series kind of hoped we could have gotten the movie too but um this shit is just glorious to see in HD I mean fucking awesome ah finally to finish off the Baca and Tess thing the OVA something I had to buy off of eBay because Best Buy decided to stop stocking it but I got it for like eight bucks brand new so, you know, this is fun. I like to call this, even though it's the OVA, I'd like to just call this like season one and a half or something. Next, we got Dead Man Wonderland. Best Buy purchase of 20 bucks, and this was my only way to finally finish watching it. I'd missed a lot of random episodes of Dead Man Wonderland when it was premiering on Toonami, and I always hated that I missed them. 
And the ending, I heard it was going to be filler ending, and I'm like, eh, I'm okay with it. For 20 bucks, it can go wrong. <laughs> oh, would you look at this. Helsing Ultimate. Another Best Buy purchase. Had to pick it up. They had Volume 1 for 24 and Volume 2 for 20. And with Volume 3 coming out, that is just epic timing. A lot of fun. And of course, I buy it because fucking Team 4 Star and their Helsing Ultimate abridged. <laughs> oh, you are a treat. <laughs> volume 2... A lot of fun. I actually got my dad into this series. He seems to like it. He loved Gan, so why wouldn't he love this? Ah, we are at the home stretch. If anyone has seen Anime Abandoned, yeah. Art of Fighting. I know it's shit. I haven't even watched it yet. But I've seen Sage's review, and um, it was a dollar at a pawn shop. Fuck it. Why the hell not? They didn't even bother to do tax. And I also found this at that same pawn shop. Cromarty High School, the movie! Yep. We've got Freddy! Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I'm in the mood to watch the anime now. Okay, this is... Don't be a bitch, a stupid bag. <laughs> don't be a dick bag. <laughs> That sounded funnier for some reason more than I think it should have. Okay, next we got uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood uh, Collection 1. Interesting story. I think Right Stuff done goofed because this was 17 bucks. I saw it when it was one of the trending items. It was $17. There was no sale in the news or anything. I called up my friend. He decided, dude, I'll buy it if you'll give me the cash. So he bought two of them, I paid them back, and we both got this for like 17 bucks each, and around 20 minutes later, it went back up to the price of this one, which was like 40 something or 50 or whatever. But I waited for a sale on Right Stuff and got this one for I think, no, I don't even think I got this. No, I got this off Amazon for like 20 something bucks. We got Collection 2, the finale to Brotherhood, epic series, epic, epic, epic. Alrighty, let's move on. Hey. hey, next we've got Heaven's Lost Property Forte on Blu-ray. Yeah, I probably should have known and waited for Funimation's combo pack, but I bought the art box for season one. And felt like I had to, for symmetry's sake, get the box for the second season, so I got that, and then I had to buy that one separately so I could have both DVDs and Blu-rays, but... Yeah, that's for another day. What the fuck am I talking about? I just said the story. Forget what I just said. Okay, next we have the movie, Heaven's Lost Property, Angeloid of Clockwork, yeah. Best Buy purchase, 15 bucks. This is what I bought instead of the OVA. This stayed in the damn stores for like three months after the OVA of Baca and Tess had like already been discontinued from going to their stores. Fuck kind of sense that make. Oh, next focus. We've got High School of the Dead, The Drifters of the Dead OVA. I don't know what, what there was just something about this that grabbed me. Wonder what? Five bucks. <laughs> oh yeah, another pawn shop find for a buck. The Animatrix on Blu-ray. Say what you will. Thought this had some pretty fun little shorts. Nothing much else to say about that. <laughs> um, next, well, you can see there's the other one, but uh, this was in order, so whatever. Uh, Black Lagoon, Roberta's Blood Trail, the OVA. Could have been better, but I mean, you know, it was for what it was. It was okay. I got this on sale at Best Buy for like 24 bucks. So, I mean, not too bad. But this was what would have been the reason I would have bought it anyway, because seasons one and two, and the completionist in me, I have to get it all. At least when, especially if that OVA is like, you know, a continuation. This one, um, wanna say, Amazon for around, oh, I got a message on Skype. Be right there later. 
Um, yeah, I got this one off Amazon for like 22 bucks. Christmas sales. Gotta love them. Oh, yes, we are almost done. Okay. Next, we've got Kanokan, The Girl Who Cried Wolf, the complete series. Yeah, um... This thing is hard to find now. This was a stipulation of, I downloaded it back in the day, so I'm gonna support and buy it. So I did, and lucky enough, I was lucky when I did, because now it's like over a hundred bucks to get it, because damn things like on perpetual temporary unavailability on Amazon. But you know, I already knew what I was getting into, just fan service fun, looking forward to Ladies vs. Butlers when that gets released, though I've already seen most of that. Then we got the OVA collection. I want to say I was able to get both of these. Ah, uh, trying to remember. I think I got the series. No, I got the OVA from from uh, Right Stuff, but I got the series off of Amazon before it went on the perpetual temporary unavailability. This is another Genjikin, Genjikin, Right Stuff sale. Genjikin DX or the entire first season. God, I just love this freaking, this art here. This just looks, like this is would make a nice wall scroll too. Genjikin's another series I downloaded in the past and a lot of people say it's too slow, too boring, but you know what, I, I love it. And it's a really fun show, I can really relate to it. I, I knew, and I still know a lot of people that are like that in this show in real life, so it kind of hits home. Also got this during the Right Stuff sale. I got like the bundle for around 10, no, 12 bucks. Got volume one of season two. Got volume two of season two. Ogiyue is there looking all. Right face. <laughs> and then we've got volume three. Antabaka? Wait a second, is Asuka here? <laughs> yeah, this is a fun series. It's always one I like to rewatch every now and then. Okay, next. This was on another sale for around 12 bucks. The entire Kujibuki Unbalance. The anime within the anime of Genshikin. And, um, to be honest, I still haven't watched it yet. But, um, I will. I have a lot on my backlog. Not bad. Man, I got a third stack there. Damn ads, get away. How did you even get in there? Ugh. I know people are gonna already be booing and hissing this. The G Savior Gundam movie. People said it was bad. Oh god, yes, it's bad. Look at that, it even still has the damn sticker. I did not pay that price for it. it they gave it to me for like a buck. <laughs> Nothing more to say. I kind of like tuned out while watching that. No. Nope. This one I'll go in order. And I think it's pretty, um, um, Appropriate, considering Season 3 ended a while back. We've got Legend of Korra Book 1 Air on Blu-ray. Now, I'll be honest, I was extremely late to the Avatar Last Airbender scene. This was my official first, you know, like, me sitting down and watching it from the beginning. One of my friends loves Avatar, and him overhyping it a lot kind of gave me the whole, um, uh, if you're overhyping it, I'm just gonna not watch it kind of effect. So I ended up like missing out on Last Airbender. I've caught episodes on um, Nicktoons, I think. Yeah, Nicktoons, and I like it. And I do plan to buy it, but I'm really hoping Nickelodeon, please do a Blu-ray of the original. I really don't want to have to buy a freaking five-disc set or whatever, and then risk the damn thing being all um uh, having a cracked disc. And boom, we've got this big old stack here. And before I end this, there was one more thing I wanted to show you guys that I have in this wallet, because there's a couple of my other titles that were in, that you saw in the drawer, but this is something I really wanted to show you guys. You are not misreading that. This is Death Note the Abridged series, the first season, on DVD. Death Note the Abridged series, second season, part one, on DVD. And, lastly, Death Note the Abridged series, the last page is on DVD. KPTS 4 TV was so freaking cool to send me DVDs of each season of the parody. I freaking love these. These are legit. 
They are not just data DVDs. They have menus with music and moving backgrounds and shit. And I wish that I could get like every parody I've been in on like a physical media like this because Lord knows YouTube has been deleting a lot of them and it would just be so great to have them. I'm happy with this one. The shameful part is that I'm only in this one, but you know, I still I still love this this series. Purple Apple for Mikami, blue for L, and red for light. And yet again I'm running low on time, but finally I am done. Yeah, thanks for um sticking through all three parts if you did. Hearing me just ramble on and on and about, you know, how much the shit cost, what I thought of them. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I will most likely, hopefully, see you next year with update number four. This is Delikik Sanji, signing out.